like I said in the title, so much gold. Hey guys, we have the CCZ Plume IEMs with us today. These were sent to me along with the Tri Star Shine that I reviewed previously, cut up here, and I actually really enjoyed those. And I do like these quite a bit too. Uh, but unfortunately, in between the time then and now, the plume has actually been discontinued. Despite that though, I actually really still want to talk about these because I think that they are actually really nice and you might still be able to get them either secondhand or off some retailers who might still have stock. Anyway, let's get into it. Before we get into the review, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. So, Let's talk design first, starting with the packaging. These come in a box with a yellow slash gold sleeve that's definitely very consistent with the theme of the IEMs. In case you don't know what plume means, it's essentially the feathers or pl plumage of a bird. Of course, there's the other use case where you say, you know, a plume of smoke, but that's beside the point. If you look at the cover sleeve, you'll notice there are a trail of birds and this Chinese word on it, yu. It means, well, feather or plumage, right? So yeah, all in all, I think the exterior design at least is really consistent. On the back of the sleeve, I really like this. They've given you some simple specs, brand, model, impedance and sensitivity, as well as the material for their included cable. It's in English, Chinese and Japanese, so yeah. Inside the box, you get the earphones, along with five sizes of ear tips, including the one pre-installed. That's six, so you'll definitely be able to find one that fits you. That's not all though. Going down to the second level, you get a leather carrying case that holds a cleaning cloth, two jack adapters from the 2.5mm balance termination to 3.5mm and 4.4mm, as well as two additional standard tips. In the accessory box, you get a cleaning brush, which is okay, I guess. It's not quite like any other cleaning brush that I've ever used. Pretty decent offering of accessories, but let's get into the IEMs now. These are hybrid earphones with a whopping 5 drivers in each side. You get one dynamic driver that handles the lows, 2BA for the mids, and 2BA for the highs. And that means these IEMs are freaking big. That's really the one problem I have with them. They are so big that after wearing them for around an hour or so, there are imprints on the inside of my ear and my ears start to hurt. Although this is definitely because my ears are on the slightly smaller side, so it might actually not be too big a problem for people with bigger ears. That being said though, these were good enough that I really wanted to keep listening to them, so I kind of just powered through the pain. Moving on, the shells are a glossy golden finish, which means, yes, fingerprint magnet. It's the nature of the beast though, so can't really do much about it. Another thing that irked me at the start is actually the seams of the shell itself. The one joining the faceplate and the shell is understandable, of course. But there's also one on the shell that seems to join the mid-shell and the nozzle, which is a bit odd. I suppose it might be because these are made of metal and they can't really do it in one whole piece? I don't really know. The seams do feel kind of raised when I'm touching them with my finger, but thankfully they're not sharp enough to actually irritate my ear when they're being worn, so I guess it's not too big of a deal here. The wings actually look and feel quite aggressive, especially even in the ear, but surprisingly, I actually didn't feel too much discomfort until about after an hour of wearing them. These are using 2-pin 0.78mm sockets, but the sockets are actually raised slightly off the shell, so I didn't actually try swapping the cables out. As for the stock cable, it's okay. The memory wire part, um, the sheath, isn't too stiff, which is nice, but I'm not a big fan of the brown colour fabric sheath. So yeah. Moving on to sound, I use this mainly with my iPhone 13 Pro Max as well as the Feo Q3 DAC Amp. Personally, I really like the way these sound. You get a decent amount of bass with good decay, but there's an interesting thickness and weight to the sound. Overall though, there's a nice rumble, but you do notice a bit of bleed happening in the mids, so yeah. The mids are slightly recessed, although I didn't find it a big problem with the genres of music that I typically listen to. Vocals are very nice you get plenty of air, and male vocals actually feel nicer and a bit fuller on these earphones in my opinion. Songs with a bit more vocal layering sounded very nice. 
there's a good amount of warmth here and a pretty full-bodied sound. As for treble though, the first thing that you'll notice, or that I notice, is that there's actually a lack of treble extension in the upper register. I would have preferred just a touch more, and I mean, you guys know that I like sparkly treble, which unfortunately, you don't really get here. The highs are a bit more subdued, I feel, and I would have liked to have gotten a bit more energy and brightness and sparkle here. The good thing though is that there is little to no sibilance at all on these. Imaging is pretty accurate and instrument separation is good. The sound stage is actually pretty good. It's wider than usual and you get a good amount of height. The only downside is that it's not quite as deep as other earphones. All in all, I think that these are actually a pretty good pair for the general audience. I know that some folks do have an issue with sibilance and sensitivity to treble, so that definitely won't be a problem with these. The bass is good, aside from the bleed, and I really did like the warmer male vocals that you get here. My only problem with them is the fit. They're relatively lightweight, but the wearing fatigue after about an hour or so is just too much. They're good enough that I want to continue listening to them, but yeah, breaks are very necessary. Again, these have been discontinued, so you do have to be a little more creative when looking for them online. Here in Singapore, I actually found sellers on Shopee who are still shipping the Plume IEMs for 324 Singapore dollars or approximately 240 US dollars, which is actually the same price before they were discontinued. So yeah, it is possible to still find these IEMs online if you really want to. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the CCZ Plume IEMs. If you guys have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe to us and like this video. Till the next one, see you guys!